Slim SEO, keeping WordPress simple and easy. Last year, we moved almost all of the client sites we managed over to Slim SEO. It's a free plugin on the WordPress repository by eLightUp, who are probably best known for their excellent MetaBox custom fields plugin. It's lightweight, it needs no configuration, yet you can turn off options and customize it further with well-documented code snippets. Although it's been around for three years and has over 10,000 active installs, it seems less well known to web professionals who might most appreciate its stability and the ease it might bring to clients. There's already a great review on Slim SEO by David McCann. So here I'm going to focus more on sharing my reasons for making this my default SEO plugin. And this is all related to the Simple Revolutions blog. It has a secondary theme of keep it simple stupid or the KISS principle. And to keep my website maintenance income stable, my aspiration now is to not add more complexity to a site than a job requires. And this has become more difficult in WordPress because it's been changing from being a simple CMS to a more complex website builder. And the demand in the WordPress plugin marketplace, it, I think, is coming from new DIY builders who tend to buy on features rather than code stability. Recently, many plugins have been acquired by larger, often hosting companies, and it's become more commonplace, I think, to see advertising in our client's dashboard and intrusive features being activated on update. I feel as time goes on, more plugin authors will see our clients as their clients. And this could be problematic if we were building houses instead. Our clients would probably be dismayed if they came home to find that a bedroom had been converted into a bathroom. Of course, it's probably best that we start our projects by absolving ourselves of responsibilities beyond our control. But I think we can also limit the impact with carefully chosen software. For the W3C, the World Wide Web Consortium, which is the international standards organization for the internet, the changes and increased complexity of WordPress led them to move away from it. My hope is that we will see more plugins like Slim SEO that give WordPress implementers simplicity that they can build on whilst making things easy for clients. This has been my SEO journey so far. When I started building client sites, it was with the Genesis framework. It came with basic schema.org markup and some fields for adding SEO metadata. That was all that I needed for most jobs. And if I required another SEO plugin, then it would get out of my way. Clients really thought the extra fields offered by Genesis were just part of WordPress. By the time, 2014 came, the client demand was there to have more control over their site. So I moved to the sponsor of this blog, Beaver Builder. Again, it was the KISS principle that made them appeal to me. They built it with for their agency initially. So they made it so it was quite extendable, particularly if you're a developer. But the UI is kept simple. It doesn't bombard clients with advanced options and it doesn't radically change on them. So I also adopted the Beaver Builder theme and suddenly I was in need of a default SEO plugin. At the time there wasn't so many options so I went with Yoast as it seemed the closest to an industry standard. But what I didn't really appreciate at the time was how heavy it would become through updates. And although this is minor, if added to all the other plugins that are also adding features, it starts to deplete, to deplete the power that I have available on my servers for hosting client sites. So what happens is it's gonna cost the client more for features they don't really want in the long term. Also, I found that clients could get confused over one of the benefits of Yoast, and that is their page optimization feedback. I'd really need to have a session with them for them to understand it. There were other advertising and update gaffes by Yoast, which they've apologized for. But more recently, they have sold to Newfold Digital, which I think is the new name for the insurance company, uh, EIG. And they are extending into the Shopify market. So now it seems clear to me that it's probably not the right type of plugin for my agency. I also tried SEO Press on a number of sites, but I had some problems with that. First was a bug where it was displaying Beaver Builder short codes in my descriptions in my SERPs results there. I had an unresolved issue with WooCommerce and the plugin 
organizer plugin i mean that's a kind of minority issue but i could use any other seo plugin but not seo press because of the way that it's set up and more recently the implementation of their very popular front end editing put an overlay on my page builder and confused clients and uh, an ability to be able to turn that off came later but it had to be done manually and it triggered some fatal errors and although seo Press is much loved and it's great value for money. I have not found a good reason to use it over Slim SEO. If I need particular schema markup, I have another plugin which is dedicated to that. And I think with SEO Press, it's now advertising itself as the best SEO plugin and it's doing comparisons with features with their competitors. So I think they're always going to be in that business of competing and adding new features which is really not what i want and why i moved to slim seo what i know about slim seo is that it's lightweight there is only one other plugin that i found that's slightly lighter and that's simple seo but it's too low on features for me and it has a confusing field for keyword tags which has long since been ignored by search engines so I don't want to have to tell clients that there's a field here but please ignore it. I've also on my blog post that goes with it and link will be below this video I've included links to WP Hive which runs tests to give you the kind of RAM use for each of the plugins and looking at that you can see how Slim SEO is really much smaller than something like Yoast SEO in the back there and many of the others and also I downloaded the zipped files for the plugins as well and it is the smallest there it's very much plug and play it's kept things very simple but if you want to turn some options off you can find that under settings and generally i leave it as it is it works but I, the one thing that i do turn off is the image alt text that is a great thing that i think ought to be in wordpress where it will take your file name for your image and it will also populate the alt tag field with the content that is there. I already have a script that runs with that where I can choose whether I want it also to go into descriptions and captions. So I'll turn that off. If you've got a theme which is supporting breadcrumbs, then you might want to turn that off. Or if you're using a schema plugin, you might want to turn that off too. You can easily migrate from the major SEO plugins, Yoast SEO, All-in-One SEO, the SEO Framework, Rank Math, and more recently, SEO Press. That's pretty easy. If yours isn't supported, then it works automatically and populates the fields anyway for you. So it's not such a big de deal. What I actually like above the main features is Anne Tran, the author. He's what I feel is an exemplary approach to support and also unfair reviews. He really does go the extra mile to find out what the problem is and help people with this one. I also like his intention to support Classic Press, which is a fork of WordPress. That was true of Rank Math, but that was discontinued. I also like that the settings have been placed under WordPress settings, which I think is the right place for it and not in the main menu. But above all, I like the ease for clients. It's just a few simple fields. It's like my Genesis days, and it's pretty easy for them to select an image for their social networks as well, just from the library. Presently, there is one thing that's missing, which may change in the future. I'm judging this by a comment. There is no way to add custom meta titles and description to archive pages. This doesn't concern me, though, because those pages always seem to do well because they're constantly changing and have a, a, a lot of kind of rich information on them. What I don't know about Slim SEO is what's going to happen with the pro version. It's been advertised for some time and you, you can suggest what might be added to it, but it will include at the moment a schema builder, link analysis, redirections and local SEO. But I have no idea when that might come out and how it's going to be priced. What I do know about it is that it will be modular. That's the way that Arm um, seems to work with things. I really, really like it. I wish more plugins did that. Uh, I can see why they don't because the 
target audience are more keen about features than the weight in the back end but by adding this it means that you only as you add the features you only add in the weight that you actually need so it's not going to change the main plugin i don't know if he will be able to keep the plugin free of advertising and lightweight but judging by his other work i think he'll just remain true to his principles of simple well-coded solutions either way i feel i owe a real debt of gratitude to and not only for this plugin but for his general contribution to various communities including the beaver builder one so thank you very much and thank you if you stuck to the end of this video i hope you have a nice day and i hope to see you in another video soon thank you bye bye